This past Monday, when I had the opportunity to, as I was out of town, I um, downloaded to my Ubuntu distribution a terminal web browser known as Lynx, L-Y-N-X. Lynx is a web browser that is 100% text-based. And I like it. Um, one of the things to keep in mind is uh, obviously there's no Flash support, but there is also no Java support, which kind of surprised me. I was kind of taken aback about that. Because of this, I cannot log into Hotmail using links, which uh, is kind of a downer. Other than that, it's pretty interesting. Um, it, the commands are pretty straightforward. Um, up and down to navigate through a web page, you go by links. Um, L I N K S, by the way. Um, as in web links. You so you use up and down to go through the links. You use left forward and back as your left and right arrows. Um, you can also use enter to um, to activate a link. And when you're on a when you're on a checkbox. Uh, you push space to deactivate and activate it. The only checkbox, the only um, link it wasn't really cooperating with was with Yahoo Mail um, uh, check all and remove all for email. Now, I'd only tried that once, so maybe I was not doing something right. But it just wasn't, it was working for like maybe one or two emails, but one always remained. So I'm not sure why that was. Um, but overall, it was a really neat web browser. Like I said, the commands are pretty f straightforward. G for go to URL, H for help or question mark, uh, Q for quit, arrows for navigation. It's pretty slick. Um, the big thing about Lynx was that there were no ads. Well, I actually found some, and they were basically in the form of web links. Anything in terms of a web link, um, even images. With images, you got the full file name followed by .jpg or .png or .gif, um, which I found kind of uh, annoying. The other main, the other major nuisance I found with links, um, the web browser links, it, L Y N X, is that um, you have to navigate through each link, and if you load a new web page. And the web links at the top are repetitive. For example, to like Amazon.com, they always repeat the same stuff at the top because of the banner. Well, you have to navigate through the same stuff over and over again to get to the stuff that you really, really want. And I'm not sure if there's a way around that. If somebody else who uses links and is watching this could let me know, please tell me. Um, but overall, I'm very impressed with links. Um... The only other thing that would be an issue is accessibility. Orca, the screen reader for Ubuntu, would read um, would read the content of the web page, but when I started to navigate around by links, or started to navigate around the web page, I should say, Orca basically didn't say anything. No speech output came uh, came out. Overall, I think it is a very very nice web browser. It's an interesting experience. Oh, one of the things I like, since it's all text, it is very fast. It is very quick to load. I only tried it on a G network. I haven't tried it on the N network here at home yet, but I will. And I'm expecting it to be lightning fast on the N network, again, since it's only text. It's definitely worth it if you're willing to take a step backward into the days before Flash-based web browsers and things like YouTube. But overall, Lynx is very, very nice. I absolutely love it. Once I get a ha once I get a better control, I mean I know how to navigate and use it relatively well for a beginner, but I'm not familiar with any of the major shortcuts and I will be studying the help file as time permits and taking a look around and using it, you know, and seeing how things work out. Um that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh all comments are welcome. Um Nothing negative, please. Um, anybody who uses links, L-Y-N-X, 
uh, please drop any comments you want to in terms of you know how to speed it up how to make it more efficient in terms of browsing the web with links and I would more than I would more than happily uh, accept that commentary uh, so thank you all for watching and uh, comments are welcome text and video responses have a nice evening